Hello, this is Mrs Pierce Dent from Malmesbury Science and today we're going to look at an experiment from case lesson three. In this lesson, we're going to think about relationships between variables. Here, I've got three beakers containing 100 centimetres cubed of oil. I've got a hot one, one at roughly room temperature and one that's been in the fridge. All I'm going to do is pour this oil through the funnel and you're going to time how long it takes to drain completely into the beaker. And I've got my friend Faraday here who's going to do the timing for me. So let's start with the hot oil. So this has been in a warm oven and is now at 58 degrees Celsius. Now I hope you've got your stop clocks ready because I'm about to start pouring. Are you ready? Go. And stop. So that was the time it took for my hot oil to drain through. I hope you've got that time. You can jot it down in your notes. So now for my oil, which is at room temperature, I will just check what the thermometer says. And it says 22 degrees Celsius. Now, do you think this oil is going to run through the funnel faster or slower than the hot oil? Now make sure your stopwatches say zero again. And when we're ready, Steady, go. Watching carefully, I'll tell you when to stop the stop clock. It's definitely taking longer. And stop. And now for my coldest oil. Now this one's been in the freezer. And gosh, yes, it is very cold. It's zero degrees Celsius. Now, already taking the thermometer out, I can see it's quite thick and gloopy. Do you think this is going to go faster or slower through the funnel? Can you maybe make a prediction of the time you think it's going to take? Are you ready? Let's go. And it's just about to finish going through the funnel and stop. So you should now have three temperatures and three times. Make sure all of your times are in the same unit. That will need to be seconds. Can you think about the best way of presenting these results? What would a table look like? What kind of graph would be best to display these results? So do you remember the independent variable is the variable that we changed? That was the temperature for this experiment. The dependent variable is the one we measured as the outcome. That in this case was the time it took to flow through the funnel. What's the relationship between the temperature and the time? As the temperature increased, what happened to the time that it took to flow through the funnel? So why don't you now have a go at drawing your own table of these results and graph to explore the relationship between temperature and time.